Brooklyn Independent Television. Hello and welcome to Brooklyn Review. I'm Jenny Passe Rodriguez. It seems like New Yorkers just can't catch a break. With rising gas prices, cuts to public transportation, and setbacks in our public schools, we've got a lot to deal with. And for Brooklynites, a hospital is on the chopping block. Fred Brown was at a town hall meeting in East New York where residents have had enough. I don't think that's the policy. And at the end of the day, it's just no, 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 no. East New York residents let off some steam at a town hall meeting sponsored by State Senator John Sampson. The concern stems from budget cuts to area hospitals, including Long Island College Hospital and Brookdale Community Hospital, which would see reduced state funding by thousands of dollars or be shut down completely. We have to keep a, a close eye, especially on healthcare institutions. You know, what's truly going to be impacted by these healthcare cuts. We look at Brookdale Hospital. We're looking at nursing homes in our district like the Brooklyn United Methodist, Brooklyn Queens Nursing Home, Four Seasons Nursing Home, River Manor Care Center. We have to do whatever we have to do to make sure this facility stays open and continues to provide the level of care. We need this hospital. We, I feel like the hospital needs to be a little better, but you know, to close it, what would that do, you know? Unless they're gonna put one closer, which I doubt. You know, you might as well make this one better and help the the community around here, you know, help the people in it. We just need to lay it out for our, our constituent what's going on. But at the same time, we cannot balance the budget on the backs of the poor and the middle class. We have to be cognizant of that. There's ways in which uh, we may have to look at other revenue streams. You know, we can cut but so much, but we have to cut with care. There's still going to be a level of services that are needed so we can be productive in our communities. While some believe that cutting hospital budgets is the only way to significantly trim the state deficit, finding a place for local patients to get care should the hospital close is the primary issue. We have to speak because there's only so much we can take. We're losing our hospital, we're losing our school, we're losing our children to different things. So now when you have hospital closing, you live, you're losing the father, the mother, the, the, the uncle, or the grandmother that used to babysit. So those are the things that we need to address as a community, that how much we have to take. So uh, what do you think about the possibility due to budget, you know, to get the budget cuts down of thinking of closing it? I'm not going to create a, um, a, a catastrophe where, where, where the people is concerned because, you know, um, Kings County, I think, is very full. And for this hospital to really close, you're going to create a great problem for the people. It's more, 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 more pressure on the people because, I mean, they're going to seek and they're, they're not going to have no way to go. Officials at Long Island College Hospital in Borham Hill say there are no concrete plans to close their doors anytime soon. Patients and some of the hospital employees I spoke with there had strong feelings about why local hospitals need to stay open. I need this hospital because I've spent three quarter of my work life here. My son was born here. I've got so many co-workers, so many friends, actually 25 years. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a good hospital. We've got reviews from people who don't even know that I work here mm -hmm. saying it's a good hospital. For 152 years standing, it should stay open. I have both of my parents ill right now. Uh, two, two strokes in about a two month period. So um, for me, it's very personal um, because I, I, I understand how having a hospital near uh, or having as many hospitals you know, that you can, that, that they have people that can provide the proper care, totally important. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's something that, you know, that, that needs to be considered. You know, the proximity of the hospital plus uh, the fact that, uh, you know, we cater to certain, uh, you know, the, the health insurance that we accept and all that type of stuff, you know, it would be a good idea. Albany is expected to make final budget decisions across the board before the session ends this summer. And Sampson said his office is prepared to fight to save the hospitals. But residents, like those who attended the town hall meeting, were encouraged to stand up and speak out. This is Fred Brown reporting for Brooklyn Review. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.